this amazing AI tool would give your CV an applicant's tracking system score. And it will also give you the missing keywords in your CV and highlight them for you so you can insert them in your CV. In this video, I'll be providing other AI tools that you can use to optimize your CV to give you the best results. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Cynthia. I share information that will help your transition into the UK to be as smooth as possible. I share information about studying and working in the UK, Canada, and the US and I'm trying to include other countries so that you can be able to migrate to the country of your dreams and maximize your potential. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can use some software that will help you optimize your CV. I'm telling you the main reason why you might not be getting any job is because whenever you submit your application, no human being has read it. It has not been able to pass the ATS system and ATS compliance is very, very important in this day and age. Most recruiters use it. They use it to filter CVs that they feel would not be able to meet the requirements of the hiring manager. An ATS system is just a simple tool or software tool that the recruiter includes some of the keywords, some of the key things they are looking for so that every CV that gets submitted on the system is scanned for it. And if it does not meet that requirement, it, the person gets an automatic rejection. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to just get rejected by an AI, <laughs> a computer system. And no human being has seen your CV, especially if you submit your job application and you get a rejection in less than two weeks, there's a high chance that no one saw that CV. And so today I'm going to be sharing some software with you, which you can use to actually scan your CV and make sure that your CV is on par and make sure that it is good and ready to go. So without wasting time, let's get into this video. The first one I'm going to share with you is resume.io. That place you can get free samples of CV cover letters that you can design your own CV to meet up with. It's free to see those samples, but be fair warned, if you try to design your CV on their website, before you print it out, they will tell you to pay a little token. I don't know where you are. It might be very difficult for you to pay for it if you have a MasterCard or a Visa card from Africa or Asia. That's why I prefer you to create your CV on your laptop and just use the way they designed theirs there and just use it and you'll be fine absolutely fine. Black and white, simple font size. Don't put it into columns. Straight up, make sure that it's size 12. Make sure is the spacing is consistent and make sure it doesn't have any rigorous design whatsoever. That's fine. Now, the second one I'm going to share with you is rescore.com. So in this place, I'll show you how you use it. Google rescore.com and then you upload your resume. So you just click on upload. I'm using my sample resume right here. And then when you've uploaded your resume, the next thing that's going to show is it will scan it and it will give your CV a grade. As you can see, my CV is B minus. It's not really good, but you can try to optimize it and come back and scan it again. The next one is resumego.net is a resume checker. Like I said, all the links are in the description box, but this is how you use the software. Google resumego.net resume checker. So you can see here, you click on scan my resume and it could scan your resume or you use a sample resume. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use a sample resume. So let's just use the sample resume. You can see it's scanning it here and the result is out, 85. 85 is not a bad score. Most ATS systems are set to 80. So when you're practicing like this, it will be advisable for you to get a score that is from 85 and above. But one thing I like this system, I prefer it to the other one is because it gives you analysis. So if you scroll down this page, it will give you recommendations. If you used I am in some places, they will just tell you not to do so. Just things that you can do to optimize your CV. And then for the main one that you need to know how to use, this is very important if you want to make sure that the keywords reflect in your CV. It will tell you the percentage match that you have. It's called 
resumewarded.com. So it's a resume keyword scanner, Google resumewarded.com. And this will pop up. You see, this pop up here is similar to the previous one we have, but this particular site is quite unique because it compares the CV with that of the job description. So just cancel the pop up here so that we can gain access to the AI tool. This will show that is resume keyword scanner and it says start now. So step one is paste your resume. So the first thing you just have to do is just copy your resume and then paste it in this box right here. I didn't copy every single thing. What I copied was the work experience and skills as well as the personal information because this is the key aspect that the ATS system scans. And next it says add description to match to resume. So you would have to go to the job advert you visited and then copy it and paste it here. This is a care worker job on CV library. So we just copy it and then paste it in the box. And then we click on match job description and resume. And after that, we just wait and see what happens. It has this pop-up that says I should sign in with my Google account or sign in with an email. So I will just sign in with my Google account and just, it says it's 30 seconds. I'm really excited about this. Let's just see how it goes. Now it says, good morning, Cynthia. It says, yeah, let's see if your resume is missing any keywords. And voila, it's saying 61%, which is very, very poor absolutely poor imagine preparing a cv and thinking that this is enough and it says that unfortunately your resume looks like it is missing important keywords and skills and is not well targeted to the job description this could result in your resume not getting past automated screening software and recruiters so we just say click here to continue let's just get a full analysis of how our resume has performed and this pops up you see 61 it shows you the missing keywords the found keywords job title found and it also highlights the keywords that is expected that you have your resume if you scroll down here this is just the job description and the major keywords that a an ATSC system will scan to find out whether you have those major keywords in your CV and I really like this tool. It's pretty easy. It is free. And I feel you should start using this tool. You might think your CV is perfect and it's okay. You will never know that it doesn't get to any human being as the ATS system kicks it out as it's not well optimized for that particular job search. And that is what it means by tailoring your CV to meet the demands of the job advertisement or the job description. So as we scroll down here, you can see further that it says, why is this important? It explains why it is very important to have it. And it also shows the, some keywords that you have and some keywords that you don't have so that you can work on it. I hope you benefited a lot from this. Remember to share this with all your friends so that they can benefit from it. If you know someone that will benefit from this video, please share, subscribe. There are also other software out there you can use. Just Google resume keyword scanner and you'll be able to see some of them. So you can use them to extract keywords and make sure those keywords are reflected in your CV. If you want to know how to arrange your CV so that you can get that job you desire. I'm talking about a job magnet CV. Look at this video here. It explains everything you need to do so that you can pass through the ATS system and straight into the hands of the hiring manager. And so you can get invited for an interview. So I wish you the best. Please write to me. I want to hear from you. I want to know whether any of these were helpful. And I'll see you in my next one. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.